All right. Everybody ready to get back into the game? No, no. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was going to start, but... Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was going to happen. We haven't done this bit yet. You know, he makes a pretty good point breaking the fourth wall like this. Most of the players probably figured that out, too. You're the only one who didn't know. Rude. Isn't that right, Monomi? Hey, how much longer are you planning on sulking? Let's get along like we always do. All right, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're alone with someone else. Aww. So, Monomi and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides, besides the fact you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. Then, as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live your life without friendship. That's even sadder watching a high school rom-com full of guys. I'm back. At what point of the trial is this? The intermission. <laughs> well, there may be some demands for that. Oh, uh... I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. Okay, then. Sorry, I need to grab a drink. They're right here, so it'll take me like two seconds. Whoops. Well, I hope I didn't need to save. Uh, hello? I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I mean, it is the intermission. Did I just break the game? That was weird. I'm Monami. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. Hey. That's why I'm gonna fight too. Yeah, Monami, let's go. Can I please get my chair to actually go where I want it to? I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. Hey, good on you, Monomi. That's basically it. Nailed it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. You mean like the poison that was definitely in the firebombs that did nothing? If something other than the spear killed Nagito... All I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlook something. Like the poison that was in the firebombs? Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Yes, cooperation is good. Friends are good. Uh, can we can we talk about the poison that was in the firebombs? Fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is no matter what. Jovine's so impatient. I mean, to me it's glaring. Like, I feel like it's super obvious, but maybe I'm super wrong. Let us consider a different fatal wound. 
It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds... Maybe he simply bled to death. Nope. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? If it's yes. something that can't be seen... What? What? Excuse me? Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hold. Or liquefied his guts with a body. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. I feel insulted that that didn't work. That went straight through it, but I guess I wasn't early enough. Let us consider a di It's not the knife in his- It's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply- There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something- I agree with that. Maybe Nagito died of old age. <laughs> well, his hair was white. Thinking. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. Y'all so crazy. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? Consent. Dude, Lei has some of the best emotes. I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. Remember, kids, consent is sexy. Sneeze. Kylaris plus. I mean, you're not you're not if, wrong. It's just if poison was the cause of death. It would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. Context. Aw, that lay hug is super cute. Remember, kids, consent is sexy. Jova and Luke. <sighs> Saltless. Gotta make use of that emote somehow, right? However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. Shut up, Kazuichi. What does that mean? I want to consent to someone so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Mm, Sonya consent. Oh my gosh, chat, please. But even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? I mean, this girl, this game offers a lot of opportunities to use Jovine Lude. I mean, you did miss the entire earlier part where Akane was talking about a front tail and where Sonya literally said, uh, pretty sure something big, long, and hard like that going into you would cause you to die instantly. Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. Despair. <laughs> oh my, that only works. Well, I'm uncomfortable now. I didn't say it. Akane and Sonya said it. And but then... Still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? Kane, or, um, Kazuichi full-on perved out over it because it's Kazuichi and Sonya said it. His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. I wonder how long it's going to take them to think of the idea that I've been thinking about. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Stay hydrated, guys. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. You, you know, you're not you're not wrong, Firebones. So, Sonya did s get disappointed that her blood wouldn't work for that sacrifice, yes. And this is when the hardtail appears. Oh my god, Akane. What is your obsession? What is your obsession? You're totally overvaluing that tail. His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Yes. It was a reference to needing it to enter the amusement park in hell. Oh, you're right, you're right. Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. I, I remember that phrase, but I didn't remember exactly what the, the setting was. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. I do love how Chucky was like, lol, just kidding. Like, come on, man. We're in a life and death situation. Can't you can't you not do that? 
Oh, you missed the part where Akane offered Hajime to cop a feel. You're also not wrong. And then Sonya said, no, you gotta at least charge for it. And then Akane was like, okay, give me a Benjamin and then you can. And I'm like, mm -hmm. this, ah, oh, it's been a long, strange trip. Operation Elimination Method. The hints should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. The way the poison entered Nagito's body. The answer was written on the warning label? I should think carefully and try to remember it. Logic dive? Yes, thank you so much better. And before Hajime somehow killed Nagito, Nagito, that would be hilarious. That that would be messed up. Hilarious, yes, but super messed up. I kind of want to jump on the outside instead. Nope, nope, that was a terrible idea. I should not have done that. Pro tip, don't go for swag strats when you're bad. Question one, what was the poison uh, liquid? Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh, when it affected Nagito, gas. I would have been wrong anyways. Stop trying to read chat, Micah. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the logic dive. And then after we're done, I will read chat. I deserve that. Really? I didn't deserve that one. He's not reading chat, everyone riot. I read that. I shouldn't have, but I read that. Oh, bull! I call shenanigans on that one. That one I deserved. Checkpoint. Oh, goodness. Why would you do this to me? Oh, hey, I can just jump over it. That's a whole lot easier. How did the poison enter Nagito's body through his nose? It's through his nose, not his mouth, because his mouth was taped. I tried. Through his wounds. Wait, what emote did you post? Why would you do this to me? Oh, never mind. It's easy. It's only easy because I have a new upgrade. I upgraded every single upgrade you can get for this. I got every single logic dive upgrade. The problem is it also makes me faster. Okay, let me let me go through that. Well, I mean, the implication we're still going to trial is someone killed him. Why, now Hajime, why not Hajime? Spelling is hard. Focus, it's not like he's reading chat. Uh, riot, punished. You're not wrong. I mean, assuming someone else killed him, you have a 1 in 8, 1 in 6 chance. True. It's all what, coming together. Why did you do this to me? Oh, never mind. It's easy. Yes, that is exactly the realization I came across. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Yep. Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. The enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please, handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Because Monokuma stopped us from going in the room because he didn't want to kill everybody. <laughs> uh, the fire, right? The smoke, sorry. No, the poisonous gas didn't disappear from the Crap. smoke. We didn't go in because of the smoke. We let it air out, right? So is it the sprinklers? I guess it's the sprinklers? Crap. That doesn't make sense to me. I see. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. Did the water absorb the gas? Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works, but is it? I don't know. I this might surprise you. I am not a chemist. I do not know about that kind of thing. Does the air absorb the chemicals? Or the water absorb the chemicals? And then wash it the away? The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? 
Didn't want to kill everyone yet. Pretty sure he doesn't give a fuck if people die. Jovine chemistry. That's... That would be a terrible emote. That would be like the picture of that dog who's like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's Jovine chemistry. Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. Oh, it was? In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrolysis. Oh, I forgot that it's susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air. So it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. The shirt I am wearing right now. I have no... That is exactly... That is... Hold up. We, we gotta... We gotta get that pulled up. Aw, oh, come on. Just go full screen, doggo. There we go. That is 100% exactly what I'm talking about. Also, that is adorable, and I want that shirt. One day. Oh, no, I just want to play the game. There we go. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. So I'm curious as to why this matters at all. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? It's a pretty good shirt. <laughs> Spelling <laughs> lol. Kylar's best typist 2017. He, he makes a good point. Why do we care? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Yep. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Should we? No, hold up. I'm missing a, uh... Where's my panic talk action? I need a panic talk action. Oh, well, but... What? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. How did he get poisoned? In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. But wait, there's more! Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No. That can't be. There might have been an accomplice. Huh? Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? If you order the next... Uh, if you order in the next 15 minutes, I'll throw in another free murder. Absolutely free. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. The thing that would have been left behind was the container. I see! <laughs> what a great Are you deal. talking about the container the poison was kept in? Right? It's the best deal. We only have the best deals in this channel. Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. No. To keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. You missed the best option. I had options? What? Sorry, no, I had options? How did I miss that I had options? I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize I had options. The container probably melted in the fire. Unless you're talking about the container, like I should have said it was in the water or something. Well, it would have killed me. I have like no health it's left. Probably plastic or glass, right? 
There's no way it'd completely incinerate. You click the container so fast. Yeah, you immediately click the correct one. Sorry, my brain was like, it's obviously the container. <laughs> Mostly because I know exactly what the container is. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? <laughs> one of the choices was meat on the bone. Oh, like from the first death. Yeah, I bet that would have been hilarious. I would have totally died, but it would have been hilarious. Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. Th that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. Died equals restoring HP, it'd be a good move. You're not, you're not wrong. Y you're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. They're all wrong. I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I... I also feel that way. That's why I just want to rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But... That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito's suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hoax. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Shut up. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Shut up, you f- mm. Nagito 100% would be sneering at everyone, isn't he always? Still, that's pretty messed up. I'm gonna slap the sass out of this bear. Shut up! You just be quiet! Yeah, you go, Monomi! Let's go, girl! I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Because that's just what Nagito does, yeah. Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. Ha! Huh. I wonder. <laughs> Thank you, Hajime. You, you dense, dense man. What? What is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. Another logic dive? The way Nagito brought the poison... Which means the thing he used as the container was Hangman's Gambit. Fire Grenade. Hey! Uh. I need the letter F. That is a bad spot for that. There it is. I should have just kept it. Me and I.
Can you just give me an... Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I needed to shoot the R anyways, or the A anyways. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely didn't miss the G whatsoever. These mini games definitely get way more difficult at the end. 100%. I got it. Hangs Hangman's Gambit is the elephant, Ponga Dong, and Rumpa. 100% correct. Last Hangman's Gambit. The last Hangman's Gambit was so beyond difficult. Huh? Like it was throwing like dozens of letters the at fire once. Fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters oh, and no, transported oh, no. it to the warehouse. Hey, no, 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 Cyclone, we figured it all out. Meaning if we guess the wrong people, we're all the blackened and we all win. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. That bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Hey, that's what the aluminum that we found underneath his bed was. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Except for the gas mask and the gloves. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Also, surprised they're doing aluminum and not aluminum, but whatever. Hajime, could it be? Oh, that's right. Only me and Chiaki saw that clear. If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! Man, why don't you let me actually speak, Kazuichi? Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? I can prove it with this! Aluminum Take greater than aluminium. We found this under my Nagito's lines. bed when we were investigating his cottage. They're the exact same thing, just the person who was studying the metal is like the most inconsistent writer ever and wrote both. So really, it literally doesn't matter. It's just like soccer and uh, football. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. They're different shortenings of the exact same word. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. Yep. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Yep. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? So technically only one of the fire grenades was poisoned. So technically one person murdered him. Just not That's on purpose. It's a dangerous poison after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? No, you idiot. How dense are you, Kazuichi? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide. Enough already! Monica S. W wasn't me. Monica S. Mm. You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. Depends on how Monokuma sees it. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Chiaki? One of us technically killed him. I'm sorry, but I just realized it. 
Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison, so when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? Let's be honest, you know Monokuma well enough to know how he's gonna see it, which is bull. This is, that's such garbage. When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought, and the moment Nagito breathed the poison were the same? Could this moment be... I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? I mean, based on what he was saying about Peko claiming Fuyuhiko is a mastermind, it will be blamed on the person who threw it, not Nagito. I mean, it should... No. No, no, no. It should be blamed on Nagito. So, the, with, the, with the Peko one, it was honestly Peko did it, not she was being a tool. She was the one who did it. She was the one who caused it all to happen. In which case, it would be the poison's fault, which would be Nagito's fault. Yeah. But it's 100% going to be one of us was the killer. The problem is there's literally the no way for us. To put out the fire in the warehouse. Thank you. Uh, there's no way for us to know who it is. At all. One of us did it. I don't know which one of us. One of us did it, technically. The poison was Excuse deployed. Me. And it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. You know, if she had been a tool, it would have been correct to vote for her, not for Yuhiko, is what Menokuma said. In which case, the poison was the problem, not the person who threw the poison. If you hand someone a knife and tell them to stab you and die as a result, who's the murderer? No, 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 no. If you hand someone a button and they and you say, press that button, and they don't know what it does and it kills you, or, sorry, if there's a fire and you have a button that says, put out fire, and you press the button that says, put out fire, but it instead kills a person... Whose fault is it? The person who made the button. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. Still would be considered manslaughter in the court of law. If you did exactly this situation, I'm 99% sure it would not be considered manslaughter. Because it's... That's like the biggest... That's not even fair. I agree with you that it's bullshit, but I also believe that in this uh, conte context, Monokuma rules it will be the person who threw it at fault. I agree. I 100% agree. Might not be because of good Samaritan laws. Yeah. What the heck? I don't know if it would be considered manslaughter at all. You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The, then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade was Nagito. I see! It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito. I see! That was also Nagito. See, like, this is the argument that makes sense to hey, me. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To get himself killed. I see! Don't tell me, eh? It's like... It's like entrapment? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously. It's a trap. I'm asking you who threw it. Didn't I tell you just to let the factory burn? I mean... I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? That would be the biggest difference. If you knew, 
you threw the, f the poison, then you're a murderer. If you didn't know you threw the poison, then no, it's not even close. Could, could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. It's a large part of that. Yeah, I know. This makes me hate him a lot. And for that reason... If, if somebody has to die because of this, one, Monokuma's a giant pile of steaming garbage because that's stupid. Nagito committed fire suicide. grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? Exactly. This isn't fair. Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. Because Monokuma wasn't already a steaming pile of garbage for making people kill each other in the first place. You're not wrong! The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. We didn't even know Nagito was in there. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison, and then... Hold, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! He's the one who made him breathe the poison, though. Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. That's such a pile of... This just makes me mad because this seems like the dumbest thing. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. I'm so mad. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. Despair. It's After not even all, despair, it's just bullshit. A mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. Shinko. Cyclone Fliss. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. I want to slap you in the face. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. I'm in the exact same boat as you, Kazuichi. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as the killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. I'm so mad right now. Sorry, I'm just like... Oh, this makes me mad. This doesn't feel fair at all, which, I mean, is the point, but that's but so dumb. What should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. I impossible? I mean, yes. Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Jovan mad. I mean, I am. Who, who, who are you going to vote for? Do I even get to pick? Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. Why? Please stop! I will never become clean! How can you... I'm so chill... I mean, how can you have such an awful power? Kazuichi, oh my god. So, of course this trial still counts. 
do your very best to guess who the killer is. Guess, he says. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? What if we all vote for ourselves? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. I want all of us to vote for ourselves, to be honest. Really? Have I mentioned that I'm not a fan of soda recently? I mean, he gets worse and worse as the game goes on. Maybe by drawing a manga? Oh my god, Cyclone. Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? Oh, please tell me I'm not actually doing that. I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. That's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. I am drawing a stupid Cyclone! Why'd you have to say that? The good news is this shouldn't be too hard. His whole body wasn't tied up. That's his left hand. for a hey, we're cruising man what there was music playing get bent The reason we went to the warehouse was Nagito's video message, actually. You're right. Here's everything I was that wrong. happened in this case. <sighs> the person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. But hey, we did it pretty easy, actually. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. As fucked up as this all is, at least Nagito had the guts to do all this to make a stand for his hope. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but it's... I... Like, this is the most lowly, cowardly thing ever to not... To have somebody... To force somebody else to kill you. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. Like, that's just disgusting. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade. Took it with him to the factory. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. 
The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. I don't think he had a choice. I... I don't know if I agree. I'm still in the boat that As this is suicide. As he gripped the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand. Like, I can't see a world where this isn't suicide. He lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape. And after making sure he was unable to scream... Well, I mean, he had a choice to start the whole thing, but assuming he wanted things to end this way, he didn't. I mean, I... Ah. Uh. He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. Ugh. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. It's such an evil grin. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. Why did they want him to think he'd been tortured, though? Uh, just to make the plot thicker and look more messy. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. Because he wanted them to think that uh, he was trying to make it... So the idea was he was trying to make it look like it was him getting tortured for everybody else. And then he killed himself. That's what he was trying to make people think. Not that this whole thing. Totally get where you're coming from. I hated Nagito during most of my playthrough. It wasn't until the very end that I changed my mind. See, for the most part, I've been the opposite. Like, I can understand what he's done up until now. This is what crossed the line to me. This is what makes me think he's beyond ridiculous. Panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. I'm on Jovin's boat. See, I, 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 it's just that's how I see it to me, personally. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. Yeah, at this point I was still happy he was dead. I mean... The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse where Nagito was. Other than maybe Celeste, I don't I don't think there's ever been a character where I was like, man, I'm really glad they're dead. Well, sorry. Other than characters that are pure evil, which rather than just spoiling just in case, even though I've totally been spoiling the entire time we've been playing through this, like the most of the characters I'm like, I can see something about them where I'm like, I wish they didn't have to die. Like, I wish they never had to go to this school and get killed. I wish they never had to go to this island and get killed or kill people. Like, stuff like that. Like, as much hate as I throw towards uh, the first killer from the first game, because I hate him a lot. But he's still... And this is my friend's argument that I have. Or this my friend's point of view when I talk to this about him. He's like, it's a teenager who should have never had to go through this entire situation. It's messed up. And he definitely didn't deserve to die, you know? Like, most of the people in these games don't deserve to die, period. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. 
There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. There was only one other character other than Nagito I was happy when they died in this game. At least Teru Teru redeemed himself a bit at the end. I fully agree. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. Not by much, but at least it was something. I No, I totally agree. And it's th the problem is, even if he's, like, not the best guy in the world, he should have never been in this situation. And he should have never had to kill somebody to go back for his mom to begin with. They're high schoolers, like... His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. That's the biggest problem at the end of the day. They're all still high schoolers. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is. Because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Not by much, but it was at least something. Yeah. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity... Sorry, Cyclone. Savage. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um... Chiaki? Because the other character he didn't feel bad about dying was, uh, Squishy. I'm 100% sure that's why he said sorry to you. Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. Is it because he got lucky? Picking the person he wanted to die? gets got He got lucky that the person he wanted to kill him killed him? Is that what this entire thing fixates on? Even if you hate her now, how it can make you a little mad. As far as we know, Hyoko was randomly killed with no explanation. No, that's stupid. Wrong place of the one night, wrong time. I think it's he super dumb how she died. The fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. I think it's super dumb how Squishy died, and it sucks so bad. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. His talent? I see! Yeah, it is what I said it was. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. So what you're telling me is... The traitor is the one who killed him because Nagito got lucky. That he... The one bomb would be picked for her. I'm so mad right now. Like, that's just insulting to me. Like, story-wise, that's super insulting. It was also meant the final two characters of the Twilight all died together. That being said, I think it was to make the third case a double rather than anything. Probably. After the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And anything more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So, it's definitely gonna be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. I'm so mad right now. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Yeah, literally just to make it a double cool, cool game. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. I want to know what the ultimate imposter's real name is, because I feel the worst for him. Or them. We don't even know if it's a guy or a girl or what anything about them. And that's kind of why it's heartbreaking. They died right away. They died trying to protect everybody, and we don't even know their name. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. 
Mikan acted pretty suspicious. There's definitely something more to her. I mean, yes. R Russian roulette? It's a game where you load a bullet into a gun, spin the cylinder, and point it towards you, then pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Oh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I would have only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Manomi said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. Th that you only had a one in six chance of surviving. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the building near the motel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right. I just trusted my luck. We're not going to read the list because it's not really that helpful. I don't know why it, it's taking the but entire thing. It doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? But it does, my friend. Cool reason for the double. Don't worry about Nagito's motive. It makes more sense later. Be kind of I okay. just thought it was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Huh. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. We're not reading it because Jovan's too tilted, to be honest. Understandably so. I mean, you're not... I'm both tilted and also, like, trying not to destroy my voice. So there's no reason for me to excessively read a bunch of stuff that we've read like three different times no there's no way i mean this is nagito we're talking about also it doesn't advance the story having flashbacks Wh what did he do you know he wasn't just after anybody he probably had a target a target he was aiming for all along a person to set up as the killer a target who the target's true identity even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his so luck, bad. he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to luck? I want to flip this desk so bad right now. I am so tilted. He risked his life for that? So tilted. He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? The traitor. I see. That's it? The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? It's it's the exact same thing as the bomb. The traitor has to admit who they are, or everyone dies. Then he he relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. I'm so mad. Then, what he said in his video message... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring every, everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing! I will say I do like the parallels in both this and the last chapter where he had five-sixths of a chance to being killed but in vain, but his luck saved it. I mean, I understand it, but it's just so frustrating. Is it luck if it works 100% of the time? I I mean, I guess 100% is still a probability even if it's certain. I don't know. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. I'm so tilted. Dude, my friends are going to laugh. I'm going to be like, I'm so tilted in the chat because there's my two friends who told me to get into this. And I, I asked them, what, what, what's your favorite Danganronpa? And they said, not two. And I'm thinking I'm starting to understand why. <laughs> then, it's just as Nagito said in the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. I can English so well. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor... He didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. He could have used his luck to guess who the traitor was simply by writing the names and pulling them out of a hat. You know, that would be logical, but nobody would believe him then. He'd get the one who's the traitor. Yep. Damn it! 
We're all in a huge bind because of that. It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. I wasn't a fan of Chapter 6, but other than that, I really liked it. I, I get where you're coming from, but I'm still tilted. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target. But he didn't even know who he was aiming for. Sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. Reminder to check out the rooms before you end the chapter. Yes. If we don't... I'm we actually super, super... On our luck when we cast our votes. I'm super, 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 super excited to see that. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. Except... The traitor's purpose wasn't to kill the, everybody. The traitor's purpose wasn't to work with Monokuma or work with despair. It's to work with hope. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Seems there are a lot more straightforward ways to accomplish this. Could you have shot a gun at each of them with one bullet and relied on hitting the traitor? You're not wrong. Would it have... Stop Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. Don't say that. Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! No, don't do this to me. That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? No. What does that mean? I'm not gonna do it. Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. No. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. No. Seriously, why? Who do you think? Is the traitor. No. Hajime, please. No. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. So that's the end of Danganronpa 2. There's no more of this game. It didn't happen. This game didn't happen. Hope everybody enjoyed it. It was a good it was a good game. Bye guys. Stream from the top of my lungs. Licentious impulse. I got the feeling you're about to go somewhere far away. Fine. It's you. Goodbye forever. Chiaki, you are the traitor? This isn't fair. This game is stupid and I hate it. <laughs> You totally guessed right. No. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. I hate this game. Damn it. Why? I mean, this is... I mean... This is nonsense! Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. I'm so mad Are you right being now. Serious right now? I'm so beyond mad. Ch Chiaki is the traitor. That is a lie, right? Sh she can't be, is what she said. I I thought she was done. Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. 
It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? Which also proves that he didn't know, because when she used her thing on the uh, bomb, it didn't do anything either. He very clearly didn't know. We were not tricked! I'm so mad. After all, we have been working together all this time. We have been helping each other all this time. Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation. So that is obviously a lie. Please, wait. The future foundation isn't what you think it is. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. There's so much I want to say. Tears. She's been helping lead the investigations. That's because the future foundation isn't the bad guys. They're not at all. No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. She's been helping lead the investigation. She was the new Kyoko. Not anymore. H hold on. We're not satisfied yet. I'm so mad. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. I'm so beyond we mad right now. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? Because she couldn't. It's weird, isn't it? People don't listen. We you were the... Now to out yourself. You were the chosen one! It's definitely strange, right? Or rather... Why was I able to do that? Something, something high ground. Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? F favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? Did you put your name in the... in the thing of the fire? Oops, wrong movie. <laughs> And the Goblet of the Fire. What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. Can I just lose on purpose and just say no? I don't want to play this game I want you anymore. to do it. I believe you can prove it. This game sucks. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. <laughs> why, why do I have to do that? So the game can break Dravine's heart even more. I'm not allowed to have waifus, let's be real here. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... Is it gonna make me not only kill her, but also make me kill her by playing that shitty minigame? <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, <laughs> this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... One of the per perks of watching people play this is you get to pinpoint the exact moment the streamer's hearts break in half. <laughs> Bad firebone 675. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Savage. She's not disguised at all! Slowly in timed out, stay hydrated bot for two seconds. You realize that stay hydrated bot now won't come back to my stream, right? Cause Chiaki isn't the traitor. Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. Oh no. It doesn't matter, he never showed up in time anyways. So what have you done? I didn't ban it, it's the same thing. Uh, a, a timeout is as a ban. It's just a temporary ban. It's a two-second ban. A purge is the exact same thing as banning about uh, banning anything for two seconds. I don't know anything about that girl at all. It's a timed ban, so there you go. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck. <laughs> Dang, Monokuma, rude. I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. I have to PTA with Monomi. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? I was correct. Not only do I have to throw throw best girl under the bus, or, well, third best, second best girl under the bus, I have to do it through the worst minigame. I'll be Monomi's friends. 
I'll be Minomi's friend. Damn it. Sh Shiaki isn't my friend. Nah, best girl. Mm. No. I hate Chiaki so much. Minomi and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here. Is, is that the only way? Minomi is breaking my heart. Hajime, you stupid face. Let's all get along. I won't let you. Burst open and mix. I can't lose. Does that really I say Hajime, you. you stupid face? First open and mix. I'll lower your grades. What? Hajime, Why am I missing? You stupid face. Why is it missing? Let's what the heck? Get along. Hajime, you stupid face. Let's all get along. Jackie and I aren't best friends. This is the end. No. She can just call you a stupid face and ask you to get along. How sad. When we investigated Nagito's cottage. I discovered a notebook with a new Sami logo. Look at her hearts. I'm contractually obligated to point out that Ibuki is best girl. Because Ibuki is best girl. How sad. Minomi's so sad. I agree with her, and I think this is garbage, and I'm actually so mad. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden. Also, why is Chiaki's handwriting so poor? Give me that notebook. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Murakuma showed up and things turned bad. Two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. Huh? What is this? Is this Monami's diary? Minomi so said, so am I. Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No. The truth is, I might have already known from the moment I found this notebook. It's just... I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now, I clearly know. I... I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. I... I just died in your then arms the one who tonight. wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? I'm so sad. Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. <sighs> the final dead room? In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Yep, day 16. We've been at the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room, but the only one who knew that. If I win the fight life-threatening game here, I'll, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's that's where the exit should be. I I did it. I, I finally did it. I, I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. Y you can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, 
If Chiaki is the traitor... I'm so sad. What was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie, too? No. Miss Sonia. No. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Psst. Looks like it was wrong. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the trader's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A trader would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! I'm so tilted right now. Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? No. Of course not. Sorry, I'm so quiet. It's just, I'm like tilted off the face of the earth right now. I will not believe it. I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor. There is just no way. I mean, she's 100% justifiably upset. It's just not... This feels 100% unfair from being told that not only is this person that we've been great friends with, that we spent so much time with, is a traitor by a foundation, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure we have not know everything about, and they're actually a good foundation. Um, but also that Jovan is tilted a full 180 degrees in every direction. Yes. Um, but, like, what terrible things has Chiaki done? Nothing. She's killed um, Nagito. And that's it. And that's the, the other problem I have with this is right now it feels so cheap. So stupid to be like, okay, she's a killer. Like, ugh, that, that tilts me so much more beyond everything else. I I don't want to believe it either. Tilted more spatial dimensions than exist in the universe. You know, it feels like that right now. I don't want to believe it, but, but if she's the traitor, there should be more. So the problem is the term traitor carries a lot more weight than really is the case. She's a worker from the Future Foundation, which we'll go into more detail when we get into the uh, the next game, which is going to be um, uh, that game I was talking about, uh, Despair Girls. Maybe she's bad and we don't know, like, like Mikan. No, future, future Foundation is not bad. I'm fairly confident the Future Foundation is not bad at all. I mean, maybe... Maybe it is bad, but I'm pretty sure it's not bad. Virtue's Last Reward. No, the one after Virtue's Last Reward. The next in the Danganronpa series that we're playing. But then nobody will be saved. I don't want to do this. Hey, Aqua Fox. You've come at the part that makes me so beyond tilted that I hate this entire game. Chucky is not the traitor. Morphogenetic fields. When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If yes. she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. Nah. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Oh. Whoops. Damn it! Is Akane in Chucky hot water? Is not the traitor. No, Akane is fine. When we were trying to turn off the bomb. It's okay, you're gonna be more slash less tilted Didn't later, Chucky Kappa. Use the card reader right away? I mean, factually, if she's a traitor, it has she to be that been way. More cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs. No. There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Manomi knows. And Manomi would have told her. Chiaki is not the traitor. When we were trying to turn... Didn't Chiaki use the... If she's a traitor, she... There's no way Chiaki... If that bomb was fake or not... The only person who knew it was a... Me. When I tried... That's not it. Ah. Uh. 
I'm so bad. That's not it. Sonya shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Is Akane in hot water? She's taking the fall. No, Ak Akane is not in trouble even remotely. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? No, Sonia's lying. <laughs> Sonia didn't. Chaki's the one who says it's Chaki. Ah, oh, this is more tilting than morphogenetic fields. Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because if I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jovine. Enough already! Please do not say another word. I mean, she was lying through her teeth. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. I'm so sorry, Sonia. Sonia. Nothing is more tilting than 999 in morphogenetic fields. No, no, this is more tilting than 999 in morphogenetic fields. Uh, and just because she knew the bomb was a fake. Sonia, please, Bible thump. Does not mean we should decide she is the traitor. Shut up and fight me with swords. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, it's not even like action music. It's just straight up depressing. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence. I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki. If so, you cannot declare that. Monami and Chiaki were working together. Uh, don't let me slash the right thing. <sighs> Can we just make her a bad person so this is less sad? I mean, Sonya's still sad, but like, I wish it wasn't true. I'm hoping Chiaki just says just kidding with their usual tone of voice. But that is just my selfish desire. Chiaki isn't wishing for that. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma said he was fake, but if so, you could not uh. declare that. Monami and Chiaki were working together. Damn it! Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Oh, whoops. I meant to right click. I'm out of cuts. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After ah. all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Oh, I apparently had one spare one. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who. What matters is that she heard. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told you that it was fake beforehand. There we go. Oh, I had to destroy her false argument. Otherwise, I couldn't even slight the other one. That's interesting. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Then 
Where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder... If I'm going to give you guys a hint, you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bomb there are all fakes. I, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that the killing was going to happen. That's why I'm telling you just now for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. That... Manakume may have just been lying. No. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Manakuma over Chiaki? I need a cute... I need a cute little burb so I feel better about myself right now. That's not it. Stay, Pepe. Stay. Stay. It's just... Even if Chiaki is the traitor... Is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Killed. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. <laughs> Damn it. So is it fair? This game sucks. Hey, can you listen to me a little? No. There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is unlike before. You guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. She said this is different, sorry. This is different from what happened before. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. This sucks. Are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. I'm sorry. You know you're gonna get permitted and it's not my fault. I just want you to know that. Why do some of their emotes not follow the rules the rest of their emotes follow? Rage. He just got global, didn't he? Kylar Sullyan just got global, didn't he? Chihaki! Manami. I'm sorry, too. Oh, F. Oh, no, he didn't. Cool. I'm so mad, dude. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? Shut up, teddy bear. I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me and cast your vote. God damn it! Shiaki best girl. I, I get where you're coming from. Why did it end up like this? I'm so mad. One hundred percent pure tilt right now. It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. 
loneliness, sadness, but most of all, I I'm ashamed by my weakness. But even so, I, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. No! No! I want to see what happens if I fail, because you're not supposed to be able to fail this. Game is 100% rubbing it in, and I'm fighting back. I am picking myself whether this game wants me to or not, damn it. You didn't have to vote in the past, did you? Nope, you've never had to vote in the past. It's no use. Wait. Wait, what? What? It actually does still fail you the normal way. Can I accept me dying? Yay! I'd rather have Hajime die. Live on, Chiaki. This is my... Nope. I don't want to retry. I have to, though. Because otherwise I'd have to start back from the beginning. So let's not do that. It's not like you can punish me for that. I had to try it. I had to. Look at that smile, man. How can you vote for her? How can you vote for that smile? Even so. Oh, I should have picked Nagito. Y you should have said it two seconds earlier. You said it literally th the moment you typed it in. I had already clicked. I'm actually kind of mad because I would have picked Nagito and I didn't think about that. Man. I'm pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. <laughs> the traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagito Komeeda's killer is... Chiyaki Nanami! Damn it! Are you serious? That was... correct? I gotta stand, by the way. The fact that Chiaki was a traitor. The fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true. Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. So Sharktooth's screwed here, never mind. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. No. No, Chiaki don't go. No. Damn it. Stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Damn it! Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really a part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I... I cannot believe it. Even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Cause... I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. 
Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you, you did something similar. What, what you did is no different than, the, than keeping the secret yourself. Or sharing the secret yourself. Whoopsie. <laughs> You're right. Why? Now's not the time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Level 69. Really, Kylaris? You, you gotta take the one, the one happy thing at this moment. <laughs> you so silly, girl. Ah, you're still saying it, things, but if we ask you anything, you're not just gonna answer, are you? Trying to lighten the mood, okay? Lewd. I get it. I'm so tilted right now. I have to type something other than crying. I mean... I'm sorry. That is... E even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Shiaki, you will always be our friend. Even now. Uh... We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So, the traitor was revealed, and Shiaki lost. In the end, it went all according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like... Uh, about that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't this strange? Strange. No. I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> you raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, indeed. Congratulations. You successfully stopped Nagito's plan. She's the traitor in the sense that she helped lock, locked away their memories. That still seems stupid. And wasn't a real student. That's still stupid. WTF Nagito, right? I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor and kill everyone else besides the traitor. Huh? Kill everyone else besides the traitor. Are you serious? That, that was Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would he have done something like that? Of all the... To form a plan where the only the traitor would survive. Okay, but what the fuck, Nagito? He, yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're you right. You're right. Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. O okay, what? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different... He probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chucky. You really are a kind-hearted person. Mm. Huh? You think so? See, Nagito is trying to save Chucky. Shut up, Firebones! That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Get out! Get out! <laughs> that is such shenaniganery. That's totally not true. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Parabons, plus. Maybe our dad and big brother, don't you think? Hey, come don't. on now. But, but, tears. No, Nagito is the scum of the earth. 100% no doubts, scum of the earth. Don't go talking about our family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't lose! I, I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else. Even if I can't know it's a fight, I can't win. Hi -ya! I must try to retaliate. Huh? Retaliate? I will no longer let you do as you please. Monomi! 
Firebones makes it seem like there's something else to learn about Nagito that makes it better. I find that hard to believe. I agree with you. This stupid! Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together. What? Go, Manomi, go! Go, Manomi, go! She... She is self-destructed? Nagito is still 100% fucky, don't get me wrong, lol. What'd you say? What? What's going on? Huh? Monokuma, like, die. No, no. I'm not dead. No. Ah! A new one fucking came out. Phew. Man, that surprised me. If only I didn't, if I only didn't have a spare, I would have died. I can't lose. Not yet. I'm not done yet. Monokuma's dead. Good end. Hey. <laughs> Wait! If yeah! I don't beat you, ugh, nobody can live in peace! Let's go, Usami! You got this! Stop it, I say! I'm sorry! I lose! Forgive me! Go, Manomi, go! Hey, hey! Not yet! <laughs> Seriously, stop it! If you don't stop right now, it's all gonna be destroyed! I won't forgive you! Of course! I'm doing it so you all be destroyed! Whoa, against Toss there. What? I will be the one to protect my students. I won't let you! I will protect them with my life! Well, I thought Usami couldn't do anything without her magic stick. She could apparently sa Well, she's sacrificing herself, which is even more insane. M Monomi, you... Hey, hey! Now then, how many of you are still left? You might as well come out all at once. Why don't you do this earlier, girl? Because she didn't have the guts to do it. Chaki literally let her find this strength inside herself to do this. I don't like what Monokuma was doing. Oh, lewd. Ooh, how, how many? Exciting. Not that much. Just around 10 to the 60th power. Or 10 to the 60th? Huh? W what did you say? What? W One million. Hmm. One ten, one hundred, one thousand, one ten thousand, one million, one billion, one trillion, one quadrillion, ten, ten, ten to the sixtieth. That's ten to the sixtieth power. That's a non-zero number. Yes, that is that is true. That's a <laughs> lot of money. Huh. Huh. Hey, hey! After all this, you're still joking around. You sure still have the quite the daring spirit. Too bad. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? Are... <laughs> While you're doing that, my clones are continuously and endlessly created in the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. Ha ha ha. That's wrong. What? Those were just stuffed animals. That that that's right. <laughs> One Zero, 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 Monokuma's so many. I, I, I checked them with my own hands. They're, they're just plushies. D damn it! You're just bluffing. M Monomi, finish them off. Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, <laughs> it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. Technically, clones don't exist if you're a robot. Robots are never one of a kind. Ooh, savage. What did you say? Well, that's creepy. There's there's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? <laughs> Could it be? Have you already attained that much power? Hey, hey, hey! Ho hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be confused. Unless you mean magic in the technology sense, we won't understand it at all. Hey, hey. What's going on? Don't tell me they're not going to call this magic or something. Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong. <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. Feels bad, man. So how about this? 
this overwhelming despair? Does it make you dizzy from excitement? GG, well played. What's this, this game sucks. And how many Monomies are there to challenge my army of 10 to the 60th power? <laughs> You don't have to say anything. I know. Let's see. You just have ten more left, right? <laughs> I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I can't lose. I, I won't give up. Even if I have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, Monami. Chalky, no. Chucky, no. Well? It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone and leave the rest to them. Back to the second modes, people. Big oof. I... What? Right? Damn it. What the hell is going on? Um... I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Why must everyone I love die? Please listen! Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... Does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. We're in this situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations? Damn it! Okay, that's it! Let's just leave the talk for later! <laughs> because... Because, because, because! Why must Jovan play games with fantastic waifus and they all die? Technically speaking, in the true ending of 999, nobody died? Yahoo! Because the punishment time's gonna start! <sighs> Hold on! Just, just a little more. Just a little more time. Ninth man, best waifu, Kappa. Shing. Get out. To wait or not to wait? That is the real question, but which will cause more despair? That's the real question. Dead waifus, dead waifus everywhere. <laughs> if you think about it, you know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But I, I, I haven't. I'm sorry. Hajime. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. It's not a... a I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. Not that, I... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer! Special bleeding service! Ah, for Monomi too! Huh? Well, why even Monomi? Hmm... It's just a two-for-one special! It's punishment time! <laughs> I could have killed that thing any time I wanted since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh-huh. Ah, and also, I remember now. Hey, Monokuma, go eat a charged copper coil and die, right? <laughs> I'm an only child. What, what, what is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys, I'm, I'm sorry about so many things. No. I'm sorry for lying to you. No. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you to the very end. No. Everyone hated a poor Usami. I loved Usami. Anybody who hated Usami can step off. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. I mean, everybody in the game, Jovan. I mean, they can step off because they're objectively wrong. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Because... You yourself are your biggest supporter. 
If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Ever since Byakuya died, she stepped up to try to protect everyone. This feels so bad. Did they just want to bring us to the lowest of lows? Love, love. Bye, everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. Wait, this is actually legitimately good advice, though. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. That's why it's heartbreaking. It's true. It's absolutely true. This is the most adorable thing ever, too, right now. I'm not exactly falling her for her crap. Monomi and Monokuma creak me out too much. No, Usami's amazing. Because I know. Bye-bye. Please don't forget about your teacher. Oh, I could never forget you, Usami. Seven chapter in a row. Let's I give it events. everything we've got. It's punishment time. For murder, the chapter that killed someone. TT. I get that. Shiaki's been found guilty. Time for the punishment. You too, Minomi. Oh, wow. Okay, that was kind of an interesting animation, but also... Tears. Murderer. I still disagree with that statement, and I'm still so mad about that. There's the other nine Minomis. How is this fitting for her? It's just a tank. Oh, I get it now. Yes! Please? 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 Legally different from Tetris. No. Not like this. Not like this. Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments without realizing it. <laughs> That's some Freddy Krueger style crap right there, right? I had fallen straight to my knees. Feeling a powerlessness spread throughout my entire body. It's... It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask. Before I could say what I needed to say. Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And... I couldn't even tell her thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? As she was executed as the traitor. Would she have been comforted a little? Chia Carey. I... I don't know. My chest... just hurt. I don't believe it! Good gracious! That was a big surprise! As for Chiaki, she regularly took the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito, too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer, too. Phew. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. 
there won't be any more situations where you need to rely on them. Huh? Wait, does... Does that mean... Hmm. Now that that annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the other obstacles that has been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey! Are, are you serious? We can finally leave this island? I shall now present. Yup. Congratulations! With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. For you five who have survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work. I'm very skeptical too. Are, are you really okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? Don't we still have another chapter still? I mean, yes. There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting up things so another killing happens right away. <sighs> y y you're right. <sighs> Stop it. What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Look, Monokuma may not travel. May not travels everything he knows, but he usually doesn't lie. Tell us everything he knows. Okay, I was wondering about that one. Also, you said you five. Like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's... That's why you're saying the end is here. Even though there's still two days left. Huh? It matters that there are five people left. You. Are you planning on making a volleyball team? Stupid fool! You need six people for volleyball. Don't stay quiet. Say something. What is your actual purpose? You're our enemy and the enemy of a fu the future foundation. So what is your true identity? Hey, um... If the future foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the future foundation has created. What you talking about, Willis? No, no! Well... You'll just have to come forward with the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's flame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey, um... And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all your questions answered in one go. Hmm. And then you guys will find out yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Huh? No new world. Don't go saying new shit all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days as the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Shing! your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. <laughs> Piece of teddy bear garbage. Monokuma's boisterous laugh carried out for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going. Forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Remember, don't go to the hotel right away. Forget the rooms, just end this game. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Check the cottages of those who died. Every single character for the whole game, correct? Not just the recent ones. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why I didn't look back on everything that happened up until now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. Yep. Okay. I burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. 
Oh, snap, you missed a Monokuma. I know. F in the chat for the missing Monokuma. I'm sorry, okay. I can go back to that chapter and look, though. In doing so, it was somehow trying to endure the long day. I don't know where it was. That's the biggest problem. And then, the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Once you figure out what they are, it's bittersweet. I'm not surprised. Is everything really gonna end? What is everything anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything gonna end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? And not just that. If we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope's Peak Academy? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. It's gonna be the timer timer. Eight hours left. Nine hours left, guys. Nine hours. We get nine hours to do this. Kappa. We slept through the whole day. We slept through the entire day. Or did nothing the entire day. Shocker. Well, welcome to, aka, what depression feels like. <laughs> I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right. It's the last day. According to Monokuma. Suddenly, my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear that I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane... Sonya. I made it sound like he had just gotten to his cottage. No, no, he 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 woke he that was the morning, the next morning after he slept. Like everyone was gone. And I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Ah I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage. Desperate to escape that fear. Do 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 Just Monica Everything is fine. We Doki Doki Literature Club boys. What? When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Ah. Just Chiaki! Hey! Hey! This is fine. 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 Hajime, good timing. Good timing? What do you mean? See? Remember Nagito's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well... Apparently there was more of that message inside the laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Hug her before she vanishes. Yes. What's with this peaceful music? Shh. Shh. This is fine. This is fine. Hmm. Did he set it up so we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Why? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagito, Nagito planned to leave this as a will. Nagito's will? Where is he right now? Um... We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it. The restaurant. 
First things first. Byakuya. Fate of the Togami Clan. Nagito. I can't believe you actually left the will. Fine then, I'll make sure to listen to your last words. Shouldn't she be dead? No, Aqua Fox. Best, best wife who never dies. Tremble with fear, I will die twice. At sight. I'm not sure how I feel about this. What happened to the Hanamura Diner? Are these all their last words? Shit. Do it, ga ha ha ha. These are all their last words, aren't they? Fuyuhiko's not dead. Kazuichi's not dead. Shaki. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Oh! Guys, don't... Sorry, guys, don't lose. And it's got the Konami code. Er, er, Konami code. It's more than just Contra. Gosh. Yas! Kyoko. <laughs> She's squishy all over again. Mr. 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 Ants. Squish. I know it's another usual name. Yeah, it, I mean, it's because it was first found in the Konami, er, in Contra. Justice. Too young, young master you. Am I going to be sad when I redo Bakis? Yahoo! Please listen to one song. Oh. Kane is the only best waifu. Aqua Fox, please. Wanna make amends? Say cheese. Smile. Lever yon. Star me. Love everyone? Sonya's not dead. Kane's not dead. Mikan. Love me, forgive me, love me, forgive me. Ibuki's especially heartbreaking when not only she feels the character not to die instant, she's begging on her final thoughts for one more song. That is, like, heartbreaking. Why'd you make me read those? I mean, they were totally worth reading and totally, like, awesome to read. And a really, really cool little Easter egg. But I'm so sad. Can I just not? Actually, you know what? We're just gonna live on with this. Mikan Select. <laughs> You're no, you're not wrong. With that, we're going to end the end this day, end this day. And Chiaki never died. Everything's good, guys. No worries here. Also, I'm curious whether or not I got a new um, miracle Monomi yet. Nope, still haven't gotten it. No more depressing games. I can't make that promise. That said. What what a trip today has been. Thank you so much for coming along on the trip with me. I hope you guys are enjoying this story as much as I am, even with the heartbreak. <laughs>